I've listened to everything you played with the police in, uh, in your sound check yesterday. It's clear that you mix elements from many different types of music. Yes. Right? Uh, who did you listen to when you're developing your style? Uh, when I was a kid, I listened to uh, Jimi Hendrix and uh, a lot of Arabic music and The Cream. In fact, pretty much it was Hendrix and Cream was about it. I mean, I was, you know, like anybody, uh, living in a, swimming in an ocean of Beatles, but I didn't really pay attention to that. For me, it was Hendrix and Cream. Right. And my daddy raised me to be a jazz musician, which is why I grew up allergic to jazz. I mean, it's obvious that you listened to a lot of reggae before the police do, right? Uh, yeah. Who were the drummers that influenced you? Can you... Uh, Mitch Mitchell, Ginger Baker. As later on, I came to appreciate Charlie Watts, Ringo Starr, McFleetwood, but that's another whole concept of drums, which you don't get when you're 14. When you're 14, you want, like, thrash. But when you become older and more mature as a musician, you appreciate the simple things. And how about reggae? I couldn't name any reggae drummers, um, even though they kind of are the superstar drummers. I mean, the reggae drummers have more chops and play more stuff. It's like, you know, your average reggae track is a drum solo with some guy singing over the top of it. But then your style with the police, where did that come from? Well, my oh, own style actually came from Lebanon. You know, the baladi rhythms of the Lebanese hills, uh, and the dance called the debki, also has that big downbeat on the third beat of the bar. And um, so that kind of lope is deep in my bloodstream. I noticed that, I mean, you're a very hard hitter, right? You play... I try not to be a hard hitter. Hmm. I try to save the hard hits for special occasions.